Let's go. So when I woke up this morning, I had an email from Reason Studio saying they've got a new plugin out called Bass Machine. That's probably not what it's called. Player MIDI effects here. Baseline generator. All right. Baseline generator. Buy now or try now. Try now with Reason Plus. I'm going to be disappointed if I can't download this. Oh, no. Otherwise, you have to buy now. 70. Oh, here we go. Download trial. Yes. I was going to be absolutely filthy if I had to get the subscription to have a go at this. But here we go. Download. For free. Shout out to Reason Studios. They always make it so easy to download their stuff. See? Updating license and it's done. You just crank it open and then you're ready to go. Rack extension is now installed. Please restart Reason to complete installation. Let's go. Been using Reason now for over 10 years. Been tempted many times towards Pro Tools and Logic, but I've stayed loyal. Really is a great program. So I'm guessing it's in players. Yes. It's in players. All right, let's get a bass instrument happening. This is a go-to for me, just the P bass, the pick. Here's all the presets back. Oh, it's got heaps of stuff. Disco time. So what, if I just hit space, it's gonna work? Oh my god, that's mad. Looking at it, you obviously need to read the instructions because there's a lot of knobs here. I'm not sure exactly how to use this thing. This is massive. Oh, what the? Has this changed the rhythm? I'm not sure if that's actually changing the sound or anything. Oh yeah, it's varying it slightly, I think. What if we try dance break? What about Easy Pop? Yeah, that's not bad. Classic House. Go on. And I'll just change the instrument. Simple but effective. Oh, that's mean. Oh, you know, it will be crazy. Hang on. Uh, organ. Percussion organ. Oh, I'll wait for this. Oh, that sounds crazy. That is hectic. Hang on. Let's try British synth pop. Minor bass groove. All right. Hold up one second. I'm going to get some drums.
That was minor bass groove. Let's have a go at something else. Pop pulses. Let's go back to the disco thing. Where was that? Ah, oh, disco time. That's me. Um. All right. So there's heaps of heaps of presets, culminator patches. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's mute this. See what this does. Whoa. That's pretty cool. All right, what if we got, oh, FM subs, do you think this could be large? It's large. That is furious. Money base. Money. That is money. Yeah, can confirm. Oh, but the 808, we forgot about the 808. Let's have a listen to that. All right, what's this? Oh my God. Oh, that is just taking my head off. It's not immediately obvious to me how you would make this fit in with a track that you might already have. I suppose it can send a track. I suppose you can do this. Direct record. Uh, it's got this sequencer, sequencer plus key. So what does that mean? It just plays in the key. I don't know. This is crazy. This thing is so cool. Slap that. I'm just having fun playing with these presets. Ooh, that is mean. Vamping dunk funk. Bamping funk. Mm. This thing is so cool. And yeah, it is very hard if you're not a great bass player just to come up with something that's uh, not just root notes all the time if you're doing a bass line. So something like this I can see would be very helpful to non-players who are looking for a bass line that's just a little bit more interesting than what you can draw into a MIDI grid. I might have to get this. What's crazy too is with this program now, with the players, you have a a virtual drummer that creates unique patterns in the beat map. You have the scales and chords player here. If you don't know any music theory or you don't know how to make your chords interesting, you can use this. And now you have the baseline generator, which will do the baseline for you as well. So 
you, you literally don't need to be able to play an instrument at all anymore. I bet you can make an unreal song with these three devices. And maybe we should have a go at doing that. I'll make just I'll make a song with just these devices. Baseline generator, Reason Studios, thumbs up from me. I'm probably gonna buy this. Yeah. I have my own bass. But yeah, I'm not a great bass player. I can just sort of get by. So maybe the move for someone like me is to have the ideas inspired by the baseline generator and then maybe alter them and then play them in on an actual bass. That could be a tight move. But yeah, initial impressions of this thing. Yeah, I love it. Well done. I've got to work out how to use it now.